since we were, we're talking about Kyle, it's just an interesting, and I'm, or thinking of like Kanye, all these people that are kind of in the news. Mm. The same. So yeah. it's interesting because it's the <laughs> trifix mm-hmm. that they're all the, I feel like, so there's a hell, it, no matter what your type is, there's a hell, but with this particular trifix, whatever they're doing, they're pushing it so hard. Far. Yeah, way too far. Like, it's interesting to look at this kind of trifix or something similar with each of the instincts. Like, if you see, mm-hmm. um, yeah, like we just talked about, like Andrew Tate or whatever, that was, wait, no, who was he? Oh, yeah, no, he's this trifix, but it's 6 and 5. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. social. And um, it's just, um, or like, I don't know, Trump. And the interesting thing about this trifix is that they, they always get attention for being so successful, but like anybody that's this much of a blowtorch runs out of fuel and burns out. And at a certain point they can't <clears throat> keep going and people are tired of it because they're getting burned mm-hmm. and whatever, like I finish that metaphor, but you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't work well, well, forever. Mm-hmm. One thing that, that's interesting with this one, you know, using, I think we did DJ with this on one of our past episodes, um, looking at my overlaps thing. If you mm. do, um, if you do this trifix, Kyle, it's three is social, uh, six is self-pres, and eight is self-pres social. So it's got no sexual, yeah. you know, as a kind of archetypal energy yeah. in there. So it has, and sexual is androgynous, mm-hmm. right? It, it's it's got that. Uh, it's right. got some feminine susceptibility. Yeah and uh you know to be taken and that kind of thing so this is it's kind of it adds to the it, that's why it's so blowtorchy and just and punchy solid it's not there's no water in it so mm-hmm. yes. so it's not receptive yeah and like, which it's, it's kind of surprising but with the six you would think that there would be more receptivity but it's mm-hmm. almost like uh six goes so hard in one direction or the other you know to sort of get certainty because it's like six is like I'm straddling the line, mm-hmm. and in order for me to to resolve the anxiety of uncertainty, I'm just gonna push in one direction and see what the fuck happens, and then go from there. And so, yeah. True. you know, to get these reactions, I I see like a lot of six fixers and of course six will create these firestorms, put themselves in these situations that force a reaction from people, and especially when you have six and eight, it's like there's no breaks. Um, and then something has to happen, you know, whenever you have six, like as a fix with eight, like something has to happen. People are going to react one way or the other and not resolve something. Because those are two reactive types. So they're mm-hmm. looking for reaction. But it's interesting to look at the, like, um, I don't know if I can think of any sexual hell example, but these Andrew Tate and this guy mm-hmm. created well, essentially Madonna. like, oh, yeah. I mean, she's that's three, like a, seven, and eight. Or, to me, or that's, Kim Kardashian. Or yeah, I mean, Kim, yeah, I mean, she's you know yeah. she's Bermuda, but it it is it is this it the sexual hell is like I think Madonna is just a good example because you're like at least with Madonna's issue is that like right now she's like sort of unable to age. We see a lot of sexual doms unable to deal with not but aging, but it's because it because in our society age like older age, especially if you're a woman, is seen as like your your sexual desirability starts to wane, right? I mean, that's right, not right. something that's good, but it's true that is how we see it. Um, so we see these people who are like completely unable to accept that process, that like natural right. human process. And it's it's so cringy to see. And and just, again, it just seems like an absolute hell. Like it's, mm-hmm. it's just, yeah. That's a good point because it's like, what ends up happening is that they're trying so hard to hold on to youth and to hold because on to youth, youth. Is attractive right it's, yeah and and so what ends up happening is they end up fucking their faces up even more like you see a lot of actresses yeah. as they get older they do yeah. the botox and the face looks way worse than it would have yeah. if they just left the fucking wrinkles stay there so it's like yeah. this thing with the self press guy where it's like i'm so uh, because he wanted to do this campaign so he wanted to get his body looking so good instead of just having a fit body which would be impressive and would still work he got like this overblown, out of control steroid body that raised all these alarm bells. And so it created a, in his yeah. pursuit to create health, he created a monster. And so that sexual hell would be in my pursuit to make myself more attractive. I actually make myself a caricature and, un- and unattractive. My face gets uglier as I try to make it more youthful. Actually, yeah. 
That's an interesting angle. Uh, that thing that happens with the instincts, especially the dominant, happens most with the dominant instinct where you are trying so hard to do it that you legitimately do a 180 and go in the other direction. You know? Yeah. Yes. My friend uh, has a <clears throat> self pres six dad who's really intense and she always tells the story because it's like the perfect metaphor of how he was putting together some like Ikea chair and was so concerned with it needing to be sturdy and safe that he tightened it so hard and the leg just snapped and then he couldn't put the chair together at all. Yeah, that's there it. You go. Just, yeah, that's it. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, and so with social, it's this thing of, you know, like wanting to connect with people, wanting to position yourself in a way that other people can recognize you, get attention and all those mm -hmm. things. And instead of just allowing that to happen, instead of just allowing a uh, connection to happen on its own, you know, especially with the sort of types trying to make that happen, trying to get in, you end up yeah. alienating those people, Destroying you end up it. turning yeah. people off and uh, they don't want anything to do with you. Yeah. And so <clears throat> you can do that. You can look at it from the point of view of all the instincts. You can just, by trying so hard, you can just completely destroy whatever the initial aim was. That's it. Yeah. Or the amount of times, I mean, it's sort of basic. I've written some stuff about this years ago when I was writing on the website, but like, you know, we see so many self pressed people who are like, got to save money, got to save money. So I'm only eating mm -hmm. McDonald's. And it's like, okay, well, your body's going to be dead. You'll have a full bank account, you know, or like there's right. some, it's just, you know, there's always, there's some facet of, or, or, you know, again, with so, because there, these instincts are all multifaceted too. We see socials that, for example, are like, this is the part of social I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on being super interesting like maybe social sex i'm being so interesting that mm -hmm. i'm just annoying people mm -hmm. or it's too much <clears throat> or people right. don't want me around because i'm expecting too much from them whatever trying so hard to be the social interesting person that people are like he's he's too much like i don't want this here. right you know exactly or sexual god how many times have we seen sexual doms have so much sexual display that you're just like that person's disgusting. <laughs> They're not even human right. anymore. Yeah. They've it's somebody that split their tongue in half so it looks like a snake, or they're, they've got. Oh like, yeah. Just kind of like what the <laughs> fuck? Like just just be like a guy. You know what I mean? This yeah. Is, I mean yeah. it, whatever. Do whatever you want. But the point is, it's like you you have now become actually less attractive to most people yeah. by doing this. Like I've noticed that uh, you know at parties people would ask me like what I'm into and I'd start talking about the enneagram and and. It inevitably creates a scenario because it's some obscure thing, right? That nobody yeah. understands where I'm explaining this thing and this juicy and we're getting into this uh, fucking intermixing thing that's happening. Now we're alone in the corner and I could see that eventually this is overwhelming. This mm -hmm. is like a completely, it, it's unnecessary yeah. to go that deep, you know, yeah. with something like this. Mm -hmm. And so on, on some level, it's like, I don't, need to lead with that i don't need to create that kind of vortex even though it's even though it's attractive to me or, or there is going to be like this potential chemistry that gets created like slow down like you don't need to yeah. pull dumb people into the deep end um when you're trying to get to know them because it, it's a lot yeah in any situation your dominant instinct is screaming like worry about this do this now the mm -hmm. blind yep. spot you're like that's yep. fuck like what, just f forget that like this is the right. thing right now right like when i'm in some social settings it's almost like even i don't know like the more people in the room if we've done whoops, like group podcasts or whatever sometimes i'm so like buzzing up here just like doing this that like it'll end and i'm like what did i just say i don't even right, know what right. i said <laughs> to the point where i i don't even remember the social that i was trying so hard yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's so buzzy and so intense mm -hmm. that you're like, I was not even myself. I wasn't natural. I wasn't. And, and when I'm just natural, when I'm just comfortable, I'm just chatting with you guys or whatever, I'm myself and I'm likable and I do a better job at social, whatever that is, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It feels like a frenzy, like an instinctual yeah. frenzy where you're like, yeah. I'm getting I'm getting the drug. And so it's like That's you just it. keeps you just keep like wanting to get more and you forget yourself. And then you look back later, it was like, man, that was way too much, you know, like, because yeah. you just, once yeah. you get a taste of your <clears throat> your dominant instinct, it feels like I can't get enough. The dominant instinct makes you a monster. That's, mm. that's good. It's like going full circle where you, yeah, just become, uh, well, you think it's your salvation, yeah. right. but you become a monster. Yeah. yeah.